So our next topic is uh, reaction electrophilic addition, a reaction that a diene can do. And the type of electrophilic addition that we're going to look at is addition of a hydrohalide HX across the diene. The generic reaction looks like this. We'll take just a really simple diene and this is a, you know a regular electrophilic addition like what you learned in the um, chapter on alkenes where we're just adding HX across the double bond. It follows Markovnikov's rule so the hydrogen goes onto this particular carbon that has two other hydrogens and the halogen goes right there. And in addition to this product that we would expect, we also see the formation of a second product. It looks like that. In this reaction, HX can be either HBr or HCl. And you could also do this reaction with Br2 in which case you'd be adding two bromines so you'd be adding a bromine here and a bromine here for this product or you'd be adding a bromine here and a bromine here for this particular product. Uh, so for this reaction it's probably pretty easy for you to see where this product comes from because it's just regular addition to the alkene but this one where the double bond moves uh, it's not quite as easy to see how we get this product right here uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you the mechanism with a particular diene, and the mechanism will show you where we get that second product from with the with the double bond in a different spot. So the reaction starts out just like a regular electrophilic addition to an alkene. One of the two double bonds is going to attack the hydrogen of the of the HBr. In this particular example the attack is being done by the double bond that's on the left because attacking from that position will put the hydrogen onto this particular carbon and a positive charge onto this carbon which is tertiary in addition to being allylic so it's particularly stable if we have attack coming from the other alkene which is certainly possible uh, we won't get quite as stable of an initial intermediate so is it doesn't really matter how you start the mechanism, but um, this way at least we're starting with a really stable carbocation. The bromide ion that's formed when the HX bond breaks is going to go where we would expect it to go, and we'll get this product. Uh, just like we would expect. And this product is given the name the 1,2 product. The numbers 1 and 2 have absolutely nothing to do with IUPAC nomenclature 1 and 2. The 1 and 2 is referring to the four carbons that are in the conjugated system, the 1, 2, 3, 4 carbons. And again, these numbers have nothing to do with nomenclature. And in this particular product is formed by addition of HBr to carbons number 1 and 2 of the four carbon diene. So that's why, where it gets its name. Now the carbocation intermediate here does have a resonance structure. We can take that double bond and move it over there like that. Put a positive charge in a different spot. It's not as stable, but any resonance is good. And this particular carbocation could also be attacked by the bromide. And that gives us our other product, the one that's not quite so easy to predict. This product is called the 1,4 product. And it gets its name because the HBr in this case is added to carbon number one and carbon number four of the conjugated system. Both of these products are formed in this reaction. We do have the ability to um, control the formation of one product over the other. 
which we'll talk about in section 17.5. And for now, we're just going to practice drawing them both. Here's another example. Um, this one, I'm going to choose to do it with the BR2 to give you a chance to see how, how that looks as opposed to the HX. So again, we're going to choose one of the dienes to attack the bromine. And even though we're not attacking a hydrogen, it's still going to follow, I guess you could say, Markovnikov's rule of forming the most stable carbocation. The bromide ion will come in, and we'll get this 1,2 product. The carbocation has a resonance structure that is formed by moving the double bond. And that resonance structure can be attacked by the bromide ion. And this gives us the 1,4 product. Practice drawing these reactions with Skill Builder 17.1 and problems 17.7 through 17.9, 17.35, and 17.38. And your study question for this section is. How does HX and BR2 add across a diene?